VPR 4x4 makes a variety of bumpers for both trucks and SUVs and they were perfect for our project. They include 1 inch D-ring mounts and the front bumper can house up to a 12,000 pound winch. Using some basic hand tools like a ratchet and socket, remove the bolts holding the stock bumper on. Then disconnect the wiring harness for the lights and carefully remove the bumper. Fully assembled, here's what it looks like compared to the stock Jeep bumper. But before you can mount a new bumper, you've got to transplant those fog lights and that's easy enough to do with a drill driver or just a screwdriver. In preparation for mounting the bumper, install the supplied mounting bracket to the frame. Be sure to keep these bolts loose for now and then tighten them up later. Now get some help, this thing is super heavy, especially with that winch installed. Carefully put it into place, then secure it with the supplied hardware. Having some air tools or an electric impact wrench will certainly help speed things up. To finish the bumper, I install the supplied VPR 4x4 accent pieces using the supplied hardware. We're all done up front, so it's time to attack the back. Like the front bumper, just remove a few factory bolts and the rear bumper is set free. Now take a look at our factory bumper set next to the new one from VPR 4x4. After removing our hitch mount, install the supplied plate with the thicker part of the plate on the bottom using the supplied hardware. Carefully put the new bumper in place, attach it to the plates, then tighten everything down using a ratchet, sockets, and wrenches. The VPR 4x4 wheel carrier is a nice addition and mounts directly to their bumper. But before I could install it, I had to remove the stock wheel carrier and the third brake light, which I'll need to relocate later. I used a Torx T20 for the light. Place the wheel carrier mount into the bumper's receiver for it and swing it closed so that you can install the handle and latch assembly. I ended up removing the bump stop on the right and leaving just the one on the left in place in order to make it close properly. Install the handle and latch using the supplied hardware along with a half inch socket and 3 16 inch hex driver. Make your adjustments so the wheel carrier closes tightly. The mount for the wheel goes on next and this guy has a lot of ways it can be adjusted and mounted. Due to the size of our 35 inch spare, I ended up lowering it and flipping it upside down to give us the clearance that we needed out of the rear window. For more information on VPR 4x4's complete line of products for trucks and SUVs, visit VPR4x4.com.